Samuel, uh, verse 9 through 13. When you have it, I ask that you stand. Second Samuel 21, 9 through 13. I think God, I feel God in this place today. Yes, God. Yes, and it reads, uh, And he delivered them into the hands of the Gibeonites, and they hanged them in a hill before the Lord. And they fell, all seven together, and were put to death in the days of the harvest, in the first days, in the first days, in the beginning of the barley harvest. And Rizpah, the daughter of Ai, took sackcloth and spread it for her upon the rock from the beginning of the harvest until water dropped upon them out of the heaven. And suffered neither the birds of the air to rest on them by day, nor the beasts of the field by night. And it was told David, what Rizbah, the daughter of Ai, the concubine of Saul, had done. And David went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan, his son, from the men of Jabaskin, Gilead, uh, which had stolen them from the street of Bethshan, where the Philistines had hanged them. When the Philistines had slain Saul and Gilboa, and he brought up from thence the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan, his sons, and they gathered the bones of them that were hanged. See. Father God, we thank you for your word, Lord God. We ask that you manifest yourself in an uncommon way, Lord God. We ask that your spirit rest in this place, that you uh, prick our hearts, that you give us understanding, wisdom, Lord God. Just let your presence reign, rule, and abide in this place, Lord God. I ask that you use me as your vessel, Lord God, that I may speak to your people the things concerning the kingdom and what you have them to know, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The title, the subject title is A Mother's Love. A Mother's Love. Uh, and uh, at the beginning of this chapter, was, well, I want to give you uh, a backdrop of what was going on. At the beginning of this chapter, it's speaking, it's talking about a three year famine that took place. Uh, so, this three year famine, it, it, it promotes. David, David is the king at this time, and it promotes David to go to God and say, "What's going on? And, uh, you know, what's going?" On? He, he wanted to know. He he knew because of the, the way the family had been three years, he knew something had happened, something was wrong. So he goes to God, and and he wanted to know God, what's going on? So uh, and the scripture reads in in, in, in the beginning of the chapter, say, "Now there was a famine in the days days of David for three years." Year after year, David inquired of the Lord. He said, the Lord answered, it is because of Saul and his bloodthirsty house. Because he had killed the Gibeonites. Because he had killed the Gibeonites. Uh, at the time that King Saul had ruled, Saul was dead at this time. But at the time that Saul had ruled, he had won against a vow or a promise that had been made. That they would not kill the Gibeonites. And Saul being Saul, he broke his promise. And because of that promise, the famine came, and then some other things resulted in it. Uh, it says, In the days of Joshua, more than 400 years before David's time, Israel swore not to harm the Gibeonites. That's the neighbor, 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 neighboring tribe. They wasn't God's people, but they had made a deal with these people. And God God expects us to honor a vow or when we give our word. He said God expected Israel to keep the promise. Uh, even though the giving acts tricked Israel into making the agreement, uh, he, he still wanted them to keep their word. It don't matter what people done, what matter what people say, he's saying what I care about is if you keep your word because you belong to me. So Saul crime, Saul's crime was not only in killing the, the Gibeonites, but it was also in breaking an ancient oath. He broke an oath. He broke a word. He broke uh, something that was given 
uh, that, that should have stood <coughs> time, his word. The, 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 the agreement that they made should have stood. He didn't have no right to break it. When David asked to give him night, so David go down, and David, he, he, he seek the Lord, God tells him what's going on. David go down to the giving night, and he want to know, well, how, how can we make this right? He, he want to know, he said, ah, well, how can we make this right? Because if, if, if this family, we, we, we don't have nothing. And plus, we know David was a, a man of oh, God's own heart, so he wanted to make it right. So he, 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 he wanted to know, how can I make it right? So the Gibeonites say this. They say, let seven men of his descendants be delivered for, to us. This is what the Gibeonites want. He said, since you uh, saw I broke the promise and, and the things went on, I want you to deliver seven men to us. Seven men. Seven men of the lineage of Saul. Seven of Saul's kids. So, well, or his kids or his grandkids. I want seven of them uh, because of the people that you killed. That belonged to us. Now, in those ancient times, the request was of the given nights was it was considered reasonable. At that time, you, and in them times, uh, it was law, and, and, and you get what you got. And you can, in that time, you even can pray that something happened to your enemies. But now, in the New Testament, Christmas and grace, we we pray for our enemies. Now, so so he says he says I want seven, I want seven of. Saul's descendants. He said, I want seven of Saul's descendants. So David agreed. He said, I will give them. He said, I will give them. Because he want to make this right. He want to make this thing right. Now these descendants of Saul bore the curse that Saul deserved. So these guys, these kids, these people reap the consequences of something their father did. Hmm. They had to pay a price for something they didn't even have, they didn't, they didn't even done themselves. They didn't do themselves. They say, oh, and, oh, and, and though the sacrifice delivered the Israel from their guilt and their sins against the Gibeonites, it, 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 it freed them up. When they got delivered, it freed them up. It freed Israel from, from being, uh, from the famine, and it paid a debt. But it took some innocent people to pay the debt. Kind of remind me of what Jesus did. Innocent, haven't done nothing to nobody, but yet you pay for somebody else. Stuff. Symbolic. Symbolic. And not only that, these guys died by public execution of hanging on a tree. The Bible says, Cursed every man that hang up on a tree. Ooh, it sounds like something Jesus did. Dying for something somebody else did. Public execution, crucifixion on a tree. And so it said, and they did this as a public hanging. And it says that it did it before the Lord. It, and what this implies, it don't imply that God ordered it. It implies that, it implies that God approved of it. Because it was a deal that was made between them. God didn't call for them boys to die. That was the giving nights. They said they wanted it. God didn't say for the kill them. He just said, and in an agreement that they made, uh, God, God just, he approved of it. He said, All right, okay, because it was an agreement. Now let's look at verse 10. Verse 10 says this. This is what verse 10 said. Then we get into the nitty gritty. It says, now Rizpah, the daughter of Ai, took sackcloth and spread it for herself. On the rock. From the beginning of the harvest until the late rains poured on them from the heaven. And she did not allow the birds of the air to rest on them by day, nor the beasts of the field by night. Now, this is the scripture I want to preach from. Now, Rizwa had two sons that was involved in this thing. Rizwa was the concubine of Saul. What that mean? That means that she wasn't the main chick. She was a side chick. Y'all got that right? All right, she was a side chick. So, uh, but she had two sons by Saul. Right? So, this is a story of family trouble. And God knows there's no trouble like family trouble. 
Huh? It ain't no trouble like family trouble when your family going through and you might and you we saved, but we might have to suit up. This 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 is about family trouble. This is about her babies. Her babies ain't never did nothing to nobody. This is about her babies. About her two boys. About to be executed for something they didn't do. What I want you to know is that all hell will break out if you ever try to get between a child and their mother. Hmm? All hell will break out. If you ever try to get between a child and what's hers that she carried, that nice little lady that you used to know <laughs> turned straight beast. <laughs> turned straight beast. If you ever get between a child, a mother, and her child, while she's trying to protect them, provide for them, care for them, all hell, all hell to break loose. You be saying, what in the world I got myself? What the? Because you got to understand that uh, the strength will come from somewhere. She'll reach deep down in her soul. And when she once was weak, now she'll become strong. So her sons reap the harvest of what their father did. Her sons reap the harvest of what. Mm, her sons reap the. Uh, Adam, our father, we reap the harvest of what Adam did. We got disconnected, not because of our sins of commission, but just we inherited depravity. We, we, uh, yeah, because he was the head of the human race, we, it passed down from generation to generation. So these boys got to suffer a, pers a, a public execution. A public execution. So, this mother, Rizal, the concubine of saw this mother, of she had two boys. They delivered seven. Two of them belonged to her. But she watched as they dangled on the tree. She watched as they hung. As they bled. She watched them struggle and twitch out of the whole side. This mother, she watched them as they took her kids, they took her babies for something they father did. And they tied them up and they put them on the tree and they dangled them. And they scrubbed them. And they bleed. And they twitch them. Because of the sins of their father. She watched them gasp for air. They struggled. They struggled. They kicked him. This mother watched her babies hanging on a tree, humiliating. Then finally, she watched them die. She watched them die. She, she, she watched them die. She, she watched them die. She watched them be taken. She watched them tied up. She watched them put them on a tree. She watched them suffer. She, she watched them suffer. She, she watched them jerking and twitching and <coughs> moving and trying to breathe and get. She, she watched, she, she watched, in fact, she watched them die. His mother, she, she, she watched him die. Now, we know the kid's supposed to die before the mom. But she watching her boys as they die, delivered up for, 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 for no reason on their own, no fault of their own. One of 
these things I want to, I want to, this thing I want to let you know. There are some things that mama can't deliver us from. Because I, I, for me, for most of us, I believe that who I call mama for everything. Mama, mama will fix it. Huh? Mama, I don't know how mama gonna fix it. Mama gonna get it done though. Dad might say, uh huh, but mama, mama gonna fix it. Mama gonna kiss the boo boo. Mama gonna make it all right, huh? Come on here, baby. You my baby. I don't care what they say. Huh? Mama gonna make it right. Mama gonna make it right. Mama gonna make it right. Whatever mama gotta do, mama gonna do it. But there are, there are some things in life that mama can't help us with. Nah. There's some things that mama, mama hands tie. Mama, it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a couple things, a few things that we gotta go through without mama. <laughs> now, her boys are dead, right? The bodies are starting to decay. They, they, they left them on the tree. <coughs> they, they, the bodies starting to decay. Rigor mortis is set in. Blood just pouring out. They still on the tree. They still on the tree. They they beginning to smell. Uh, the the, ooh, the corpse are, are stinking because I want you to know that the boys was up there for five months. I don't know see. But the law says that by the sundown that the. the the sun up, they, they're supposed to be buried, right? They were, but they intentionally kept the boys up there for five months. So days turned into weeks, and weeks turned into months. And it was a period of five months that the boys were still on the tree. So, so, so they was ripe, they were smelling. They were smelling, they were decaying, they were stiff, they was cold, they was blue, they was... There was all different colors. Were, and then my mother, guess what? Mother was still out there. Mama was still out there. Mama was still out there. So I can hear the folks out there. They, and, and people say, because this was a public thing. This wasn't here. They, they, this was a public thing. So I can hear people saying, won't you go home? Go home. Go go. Them, them boys, they, go, won't you go home? You've been out here. Go home. And they gone. Where, where you still out here for? Hey, you got to match people. Where you, where you, their boy's gone. They change the colors. They swelling up. Their body begin to swell. They stinking. They, 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 the rigor more. They gone. Why, 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 why are you still here watching over these boys? They dead. Why, why, why are you still here? They, they gone. They dead. But I can hear the mama say, right? I, I don't care how they smell. I don't care how they look. I don't care what you say. I'm still my babies. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, 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 might, they, they, they might not look like they used to look. They might be strung out. They might don't got no job. They might be gay. They, might, I mean, they, they my baby. They my baby. They my baby. They my baby. I don't care how they look. I don't care what you say. You can say it's over. But they still my boys. As a matter of fact, them boys there, they king's kids. Not that whole say that that whole say. They king's kids. I know they don't look like it because they're dangling and they're hanging on the tree and they're blue and they're swelling up and, they, and there's blood coming out and it don't look too good, but they still kings, kids. Mm, mm, mm. They kings, kids. They were so they kings, kids. They, my baby, I pray for my babies. I, I I pray for them every night. I, I don't care what you say, what they're doing or, or how it look or not. They kings, kids. You know why they kings, kids? Because I didn't pray them in. They king's kids. They king, you say what you want to say. I don't care how it look. They my babies. And they belong to the king. They belong to the king. Those, them boys belong to Saul. That's what Rich would say. They belong to Saul. He dead, but he, he died as a king. But they, they king's kids. I know they don't look like much. 
I know, I know they don't look like much. I know you say it's over, they blew, they, they I, but they still my babies. They still my babies. She says, uh, look, now she there. The scripture talks about her there and, and at the night time she don't let the fowl get them. And, and, and let, me, let me go back to the scripture to make sure. I, I want to make sure I get it right. She says this. This says this. And suffer neither the birds of the air to rest on, on them by day, nor the beasts at night. She said, I may, I may not was able to stop what happened to them, what they did to them. I, I might couldn't stop that. But I ain't let no bird. I ain't let no beast devour my baby. I couldn't help him at that point. I couldn't deliver him from death. She said, but ain't nothing going to eat my babies up. She was out there five months, man. She was out there. I know. Away from my baby. Get, get, get. get off my baby. And you understand the vultures and the hyenas and the, they, they can smell the blood, they can smell the decay, they can, the, the scavengers, they trying to kill them. The, the, oh my Lord, she, she, but she out there. Look my baby. I don't care what you say about my baby. That's, this, this is my baby. Jay and all, he's still, this is my baby. On dope and all, he's still, this, this, this is my baby. It's my baby. It's my baby. Them boys belong to me. She said she's she out there five months protecting bodies of her two boys. Fighting animals. She fighting animals. She fighting birds. She fighting birds. They fly, they, they trying to, they trying to pack them. They trying to get the eyeballs out first, right? They trying, and she, she fight. She fight everybody that went home besides the people that want to laugh at her. Hmm? Everybody gone. Don't nobody want to help her protect their babies. But the people that just want to laugh, they, they, they out there. But she, she, no. Nah. They done done what they did that one time. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing else happened. These ain't. Nothing not, not else ain't happened to these boys. Nothing. Not, not, nobody ain't doing nothing. It happened last time. Not, nothing ain't happening. Nothing ain't happening to my baby. Not, nothing ain't happening to my baby. So she out there fight. She said, no animal. Nobody, no animal gonna eat my baby. No predator. No predator. And take advantage of my babies. No pervert. Don't do nothing to my baby. So this queenly woman traded her garments for sackcloth and ashes. She put on her war clothes. She said, I couldn't stop that one thing. But I beat me. She might cuss. I don't know. She said, I couldn't stop that one thing. But I'd be, if, it, if something else don't happen. She said, oh, my dead body. Ain't now another thing going to happen to my baby. I, I'm, I, yeah, 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 I couldn't stop that. But ain't nothing else going to happen. Ain't, ain't nothing else going to happen. So her love was stronger than the decay. She was standing there when they stunk. They wasn't smelling good. They were stinking. I don't know if you ever smelled a body, but it was when it stink, it stink. It take you weeks to get it out your nose. She, she was still there. Her love was stronger than the decay. Her love was stronger than the smell. Her love was even stronger than death. Death even couldn't separate her from protecting her kids. 
Death couldn't separate her. Death didn't stop her from protecting the bodies of her babies. And because of her love, her strength brought her closer to those bloody bodies. She was right there. I could see, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. I got Excuse me. I gotta get to my baby. I got I gotta get to my baby. I gotta get to my baby. Just just let me get I just just let me get ah uh, yeah, whatever. I just, just, yeah, yeah. Just let me get to my baby. Yeah, I, I know I'm causing a scene. You want me? I'm, so what? I'm so what? I'm I know I'm, Just let me get to my baby. Just, just let me get to my baby. Just, excuse me. Excuse me. Pardon me. And the people out there, they, they, they still say, go home. Just go home. They dead. Just, just go home. They dead. Forget about them. They ain't gonna never be nothing. Then he just getting high. He just, he was, just he locked up. He ain't never coming home. He just, just forget, they, they dead. Forget. Won't you just go home? Just, just go home. But I can hear the woman say, "Look, I don't give up. I ain't going nowhere. I don't care what you say. I ain't going nowhere." As long as my baby's still here. I don't care what you say. Well, you say what you, whatever, whatever. I ain't going nowhere. Until they get my boys and they do right by my boys. Because the law say they're supposed to be there. Why is they still up there? Why is they still up there? I ain't going nowhere. She said, I can't go. I, I can't go. I, can't. I won't go. I refuse. I, I'm, yeah, I know I ain't ate. So what? I don't know. I don't need, I'm good. I look, I just get my boys down. Just, just get my boys down. Just get my babies down. I, I couldn't have. I couldn't have that other thing. But this thing here, I, I ain't going. I refuse to let another thing happen to my baby. So she says the law says you got to bury my boys by sundown. And I'm going to stay here till you do right by my babies. I ain't going to do it. However long it takes. How many months, how many years, how many weeks. It don't matter. I'm not going nowhere and I'm not giving up. On, I don't care if they're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. They still my babies. They still my babies. They, they, they still my babies. Then she going to the, she went into a testimony. I could see it. I, I see it. She said, look, I, I saw their first smile. I wiped their first tear. I heard their first word. See, I, I changed them boys' daggers. I combed their hair. I brushed their little hair. She said, they're my babies. They're, 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 they're my babies. I felt them move inside of me. I watched their little faces. I taught them how to read. I was there when they went through their first heartbreak. I was there when they went through their first heartbreak. It's been mama that's been there in the good times and in the bad times. It was mama that was there when the friends left them and did them wrong. It was mama that went and got them when they was. It was my. I was there with my kid. I was there for my babies. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. She said I wasn't able to beat back the men when they killed. She said, but I'll beat back every buzzard, every coyote, every animal that tried to devour my baby. 
She said, I'll be every one of them back. She says, look, she out there. She fighting for her babies. They dated, but they still hurt. And what's left for them, she want to keep. Now, now another bad thing going to happen to them. So she out there day after day, week after week, month after month, fight hyenas, coyotes, lions. Huh? She out, she out there. No. No, no. No, no. She out there. She out day and night. She up there at the end night. She ain't there getting no sleep. She can't sleep. Her baby's out there. How can, how can she go to sleep? Sleep what? My baby. I can't go to sleep, my baby. My, I ain't, my baby's out there. I can't, I can't go to sleep. I can't, I can't go to sleep. <clears throat> Let's get my babies down. Let's, 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 get my, let's get my babies down. Y'all get my babies down. Y'all get my babies down. So this mother, her love is just so strong, so connected, that she's willing to give herself. She's sacrificing herself. She's fighting animals. She's not eating. She's not drinking. She ain't going nowhere. He got the scavengers, the vultures, the hot healers, the wolves, the lions, Rizzo, the cockabine of Saul, the mother of two of the boys that were delivered up for execution. She held a vigil over their bodies until the late rains came. That's what the Bible says. She held a vision until the late rains came. Red rains is significant. Because that means the heavens opened up. Water always represents the Spirit of God. Moving. Flow. The coming of the rain showed that the famine was over. Justice was satisfied. And Israel was delivered. But this mother stayed up here, stayed with her babies. Until her, to, to every, everything was done, justice was satisfied. To the heavens opened up. She stayed. For five months she watched, fought over them dead boys. She stayed to the rain poured. This is a mother's love. This is a mother's love. It's a mother's love. To stay when everybody else is gone. Friends in love. Spouses in love. Kids in love. Everybody that gave up. And mama's still there. Mama's still there. Not only is mama there, mama fighting. Mama fighting when nobody else will fight. Matter of fact, everybody else telling mama she crazy. <laughs> everybody else telling mama she crazy. Everybody else saying, leave, leave her. No, she, she grown. He, he grown. What the? They gone, baby. They, they ain't your kids no more. They, they grown. Just leave her. They trying to tell mama. Mama said, nah. Mama said, they been with Mama said, it ain't no one until it's over. It ain't no one until it's over. A mother's love. This mother stayed until they, until, until David got word that she was out there. <laughs> they, they went out there, they said, look, you, this was out there, boy. She fighting and she been out there five months. He said, what? She been out there five months. He said, wow. He said, go, go, go get them, go get them, go get them down. Take the bones down, right? He said, matter of fact, 
Go get Saul, his bones. Go get Jonathan, which is their brother, bones. Go get all of them, and I'm going to bury all of them together. So mama stayed until the right thing happened. Mama stayed until they took care of business like they supposed to have been taken. Mama stayed when they was dead and made sure they did right by them while they was dead. I can imagine what she did when she was alive, but they dead, and she still never left them nor forsook them. She was fighting for her babies dead and made sure they got a proper burial like they should have. That's a mother's love. That's a mother's love. Now, this example of the love just showed me the love that Christ did for us. What, 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 kind of, what, what more do you think Christ would do? The Father so loved that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's who. Look what this young lady, this lady did. Imagine what God will do. Imagine what God will do, what he'll give up, or how he'll fight your battles, or what he'll bring you through, or bring you out of, or what he'll protect you from, or what he'll shield you from. This was a human being doing it. What much more did God will do for his son and his daughters? She stayed to the end, the end. God will stay with you when everybody else is gone. When they say you will never be the king, never, he keep falling back. He keep going for, so what? God still haven't left him. And just because you gave up don't mean God gave up on him. Because everybody else said it, it, it's too late. Uh, God, it ain't too late in with Christ. Because all things are possible in Christ Jesus. So how much more will Christ do for us? How much more will Christ do for us? He'll stay in the good times and in the bad times. Whether you slip back, slip up, backslide, whatever you, God is still there. And he's still there. To, no matter how far you go out, you're only one step back to the love of God. Don't never let nobody tell you that you have done too much. You can never come back. You done did this. Or you can't, God can't love you. That's not the kind of God we serve. We serve a loving, kind God. Merciful, just. He, he, grace, love, favor, goodness. And he turned it, even the bad things that we do, he make them work for good. Even when we slip up and mess up, he turned it, the stuff that we messed up to bless somebody. We tell a testimony and somebody else gets saved. Even the ugly stuff started to look good. Good God. That's what kind of God we serve. He never gave up. He never will give up. And when everybody else say they dead and they stinking, God said no. He said no. He said they king's kids. <laughs> he said them boys right there, them, them girls right there, they, they king's kids. Them king's kids. And I'm going to stay to the end. I'm a, no matter who leave, who go, who move, what happened, he said, I'll be there. He says that I'll be there. He says that I'll be there.